How about first equation? Uh, first equation is 102x plus 75 equals equal 12. Yeah. And the term? 512 x plus 75 equals equal 22. And the third? The third is 215 x plus 55 equals equal 1025. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, reading or uh, something about the equation on the whiteboard. But uh, I want you to change from Y to Y, you know? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are some people who join other link. What? Uh, the, some students uh, have joined the other link, not this link. Like maybe eight or ten people. Mm, I think so because in here only forty two uh, students in this meeting room. They, they yeah, like ten other are join the other link that we used to meet. I sent to your Google Classroom already. Uh yes, like I saw. Some of students have joined the link, but not this one. The one that in Google Classroom. Mm, you should be tell them the new link is not the old one. Yeah, I, I have talked to them already, but look like they <laughs> didn't change. Okay, now we go to our uh, equation because I use this new link to try so I can download from our try or not because the old link uh, my record is ca uh, it cannot be downloaded from uh, our try so I just use this new link to uh, try if it's okay I will uh, make a new link for you to the next time it's okay Hello. Uh, it's okay now, Chow, because I send I send the link to them. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your helping, uh, for your uh, assistance of my teaching right now. You can uh, uh, have everything in our class. Okay. But now let's talk about our link. We think about our equation. The first one, I write. Uh, the first question, equation is 102x plus 75y equal 12. Equal 12. So before we saw about this equation in Z, what should we do first? Uh, singly. This one, I ask you, this is a linear equation before we solve about the equation in Z, what should we do first? I don't know, teacher. I don't understand. Okay, never mind. Please, teacher, can I try it, teacher? Yeah, please. Uh, we should let uh, y equal t. Okay, thank you very much. Please listen to my question. You know, what? if we have a bilinear equation like this, yes. Yes. and we solve or we find the set of solution in Z. You know, in Z, not in real number, in integer number. What should we do first? Because we want to know about the equation and the solution in Z or not. So the first, what we should to do? Can, can, can I try, sir? Yeah, yeah, please. First, we have to, uh, to find the GCD. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's it. 
The first, we should define the GCD of A and B. Or we find the GCD of 102 and 75. How about the GCD of 102 and 75? GCD. GCD of 100. 20, uh, uh, 102 and 75 is this number it's all one the biggest number one. 102 can divide and it's all one it's three yeah it's three because three divide 1,000 of uh, 102 and 3 divide 75 or 102 yes. can divide by 3 and 75 can divide by by 3 so number 3 is the great common divider of 102 and the great common of 70 75 and now we just look through this one is three but when you find gcd in this way it is very difficult to find about x0 and y0 for you you know if you want to find x0 and y0 in different or difficult way to find x0 and y0 you should be fine TCD by algorithm a click. And the first I want to ask you what is algorithm a click and what is the form of the clip? Have you been studying in grad 12 or not? I think maybe no, because your generation is on COVID season. I think maybe you don't have study about uh, GCD and LCM, but GCD and LCM you study in grade 10, a clip is study in grade 12, and I read the clip in grade 12 also. But the first, I think you don't have to study about this, I just read you about what is a clip and what is the uh, algorithm a clip. A clip, it means that when you want to take A divided by B, you can write in form. Example, a clip. A clip of A and B. A and B is, is A equal B multiplied by Q plus O. It means that A is nominator and B is denominator. Q is the result of the uh, divide from A and B and O is a remain. You know? Example, in this point I said phi equal 3 multiply by 1 plus 2 is 5 over 3 this one you see a map in here hello okay so when you write in this form when you write in this form it means that it is a clip between a and B. When the question they ask you to write about a clip between A and B, you should be write like this. If they want you to write a clip between, example, between 12 and 5, between 12 and 5, so the clip between 12 and 5, it means that 12 equal 5 multiplied by 2 plus plus 2. If you write in this form, it means that it's a clip form of 
divide from 12 and 5, you know? So a clip, it means that they want to find about the result and the remain of the divider, you know? When they ask you about a clip, it means that they want to know about the result and they want to know about the remain of the divider. Please remember it this point, okay? So this one is a clip. And how about algorithm clip? How about algorithm clip? Algorithm clip, it means that we take a clip step by step to uh, do a clip done step by step from the top. In this point, if I have this Euclidean, so I want to do algorithm Euclid. Algorithm Euclid, it means that we do a clip remain is zero, you know? Until the remain is zero, we, call, we can call algorithm uh, Euclid. But we just only, this one is a clip. When we take a clip from one step to one step until the remain is zero, it means that we call it uh, strategy is algorithm uh, a clip. So algorithm a clip is it is the first one of a clip. Algorithm a clip they take the denominator of divider with the remain. What is the denominator of divider in this point? Do you know the denominator? Three is denominator. Five is nominate. Nominator. What is the denominator of A and B? Uh, B. Yeah, B. So the next step, we take the denominator of B, of the first one is B, with the remain all. So I can write like this B equal all multiplied by Q1. Q1 is the result, and we have remain 1. After that, we take about the denominator of the step 2 with the remain. What is the denominator of step 2? Oh. Oh, yeah. So you can take all equal all 1. Multiply Q2 plus R2. And then you take the denominator of third step to do the remain. All one. So it's R1. R1 equal R2 multiply by Q3 plus R3. R3. We do like this until Rn equal. Or, or n equal or n plus one q n plus two plus zero this one we do until this this one if you take from the clip one two three until you get the remain is zero this strategy is we call algorithm a, a clip you know so it is the fine of algorithm uh, a clip. When you want to find a GCD of A and B, you can do by algorithm a clip to get the GCD of A and B also. Now we go back to our equation. Our equation is 102 plus 75y equal 12. So now we want to find the GCD of 102 and 70, 75. What is the GCD of this number? Now we start from 102. So I write 102. 102 equal 75 multiply by what by one and plus with 
twenty twenty what? This two twenty third seven. If we take seventy five multiplied by two is over this result. No, we cannot. So, so it is the result of a click between one hundred and two and seventy five is only one is the result. But we have remain twenty twenty seven. So the next step we should be take about denominator of the first the clip with the remain. So what is denominator of this one? Fifty seventy five. Yeah, we take seventy five, and we take twenty seven. So in this case, I can write seventy five equal twenty seven multiplied by two. If twenty seven multiplied by two, it is only fifty four. How about fifty four to seventy five? What you plus with? Plus one. Twenty one. What you plus? Twenty one. Twenty one. Uh, yeah. I think it's twenty one. And then, and then. You take denominator of step two with the remand. What is denominator of step two? Twenty-one. 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 Twenty
this equation or FGCD equal 3 and 3 divide 12. So this equation have solution in Z or not? Yes. Okay. Have solution in Z. So if the equation have solution in Z, what should we do next? Yeah, to find x0 and y0. Okay. We will find about x0 and y0. And how Excuse me, teacher. And how x0 and y0? In this teacher. point, yeah? Uh, I have a question. Uh, how do we know the value about, uh, about letter Q? Q1, Q2, Q3? Uh, I don't know. This is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q3, this is Q4, this is Q5. Yes, Q but I want to know how to do the number. You know, Q is represent to the number which we don't know when we talk in general. You know? Again, please, teacher, I'm not clear. Uh, I mean that Q1, Q2, Q3 is the result. The result. And it is represent to the number of the result. But when we talk in general, we don't know Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Qn. We don't know. But in this point, you know, example, when we do this a clip, the first a clip, we get about the this one is Q1, this one is Q2, this one is Q3. Q1, it means that you take the first a clip, you can get Q1. The next step of first a clip, you take second a clip, you get Q2. You know? Hello? Teacher, but I, I want to know how uh, to find the value of Q. Ah, the value of Q. If you write about a clip, it means A equal B minus uh, multiply Q. So, can, can, I can I tell her, uh, tell, tell her in command? Mm. Wait a moment, I will explain her in English. If she doesn't know, I will try that for you. Okay? The first. And how about if I write 10 divided by 3? You know? 10 divided by 3. So if I want to write in this form, in this form, I write 10 equal 3. How about 3 multiply with equal 10? 3. 3. Uh, 3. Multiply. You can put 4 or not? Not. No. You can put 4 or not? No. 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 It's suitable for 3. So, you multiply by by three. Three multiplied by three is nine. 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 Our number is ten. One. So nine plus one. Plus one. Is it? You clear or not now about you? I got it, teacher. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you very much for your handing to uh, know. And excuse me, teacher. Now, can I ask something? Yeah, please. Uh, for this form of equation, like we need to plus it on here, or it's equal to zero, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Now, I want to find about x0 and y0. I write, find x0 and Y zero. 
This way, when you want to find about X row and Y row, you should be start from the GCD of this number. First time you find GCD, you get from the biggest to the small. To the small. And the when you want to find about X row and Y row, you start from this GCD until to the top of the number. But you should be know you will be fine about the gradient of the equation. You know? How to write in a gradient or a slope of the equation. Example, our equation is 102 and 75y equal 12. Then, concerned about the 12, you should be concerned about the this gradient of A and this gradient of Y. How can you do in this point? I want you to write in this form of uh, 102, it means star. This star, we don't know this about uh, the number. And plus 25 also star, which we don't know, equal star. Or if, if our GCD is 3, it means this one is equal to 3, equal 3. But, but, when you want to find our equation is not 3, our equation, the result is 12. So, we come from 3 to 12, how do you do? From 3 to 12, what you do? Multiply, multiply by 4. 4. Multiply by 4. You multiply by 4 in the right hand side. Left hand side also multiply by what? By 4. Uh, by, 4. by 4. Also, because it is the equation. When you add some constant in right hand side, you will get the same constant in the left hand left hand side, you know, in this point. So now we start from our GCD. How about our GCD in this point is three. So I can write three, three equal, equal 21. I think 21 minus 3 multiplied by by 6. Can I write like this or not? Yes. Right. What? Yes. No need. You don't need to calculate this one equal 18. Please remember, you know? Do not need to calculate this 3 multiplied by 6 equal 18. And the next point, the next point, you should be the the first you see the the last remain of our algorithm, algorithm. And then we take about the next step. The remain is is what? A6. So you can separate or you can convert six to this one. So in this point, I said six, six is equal twenty one minus twenty one. Okay or not? Because twenty one multiplied by one is twenty one. It's okay. Yes. Okay. So you substitute about number six with twenty one minus twenty one. I can write 3 is equal to 21 minus 3 factorize 20 is when minus 21 is okay because it is number uh, 21 
because it is number six. Twenty. The result of twenty-one minus twenty-one is six. And then we calculate about this one. We get three is equal twenty-one. Twenty-one. And this one, yeah. I want to show this. This one is minus, and this one is minus. When you left out the parentheses, what does it change? Change from negative to positive. Positive. Yeah. So it means that twenty-one plus three twenty-one. <laughs> Multiply by twenty one minus three multiplied by twenty seven. It's okay or not at this point? Okay, sir. Okay. And the next step. What is the remainder of next step in our grid? The next step is twenty twenty one. So how would you do with twenty one? Twenty one is equal this one. So I write in this here is twenty one equal to twenty five minus two multiplied by twenty seven. So in twenty seven, I will substitute by twenty five minus two times twenty seven. So I write three. Equal four multiplied by twenty one by twenty one minus three, but twenty is when I write seventy five minus two multiplied by twenty is when, and we get three equal. Teacher, excuse me, teacher. One is uh, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, just twenty one. It's not twenty is when. Uh, twenty one. So in twenty one, we write four equal twenty five minus two multiply by twenty seven and minus three multiply by twenty seven. It's okay. This one. And then about we multiply four with twenty five, so we get four. Multiply by seventy-five, and this point when we multiply with minus two, we got minus eight. Minus eight and minus three is minus eleven of twenty twenty-seven. And now we get about twenty-seven. We look back to our algorithm. Twenty-seven is equal to this one. So I write twenty-seven. Equal to one hundred and two minus minus twenty five. This one minus twenty five. So we write about three is equal four multiplied by three hundred and five minus eleven. Factorize with one hundred and two minus twenty. Seventy-five. So we got three equal equal one. This one is four. You know, this one is four. This one is minus multiplied by minus. Or we left out about parentheses. It changed to the positive. Four plus eleven equal one. Fifteen. Uh, four plus eleven fifteen. We got fifteen. Multiply. multiply by seventy-five. Multiply by eleven. Multiply by uh one hundred and two. So it is good to our gradient of our equation or not right now? The gradient of our equation is one hundred and two and seventy-five. So we get seventy five and one hundred and and two. 
Now we get three. I think we get three equal. We can write one hundred and two multiplied by minus eleven plus twenty-five minus fifteen. Can we write like this or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you write like this? But, but your equation is not three. It's what? Twelve. Twelve. How can we convert from three to twelve? Multiply four. Multiply four. So you get this one is twelve. Equal one hundred and two multiplied by forty-four plus seventy-five multiplied by sixty. Is right or not? It's right. Yeah. So you get x zero is minus forty-four and y zero is sixty. You know, because when you calculate this one and this one, we got it. 12. So our equation is 102x plus 25y equal 12. This one is 12 equal 102 multiplied by minus 44 plus 25 multiplied by 60 equal 12 also. So we get x row is minus 44. Y is 50. You really? It is fine? Yes. Okay. Now yes. you get X row and Y row. You can find the set of solution of the equation or not? Yes. Uh, I want to yes. omit some this year. Some of this. Uh, you take already about this. So uh, we get we get x low equal minus 44 and y low equal 60. Set of solution. I think set of solution. Solution is, is what? x equal x row. How about x row in this point? Minus uh, 44. 44 plus B over 25. 25 divided by 3 equal 20, 21. 23. 25. Uh, 25. 25. You know? 25 of t and the y is equal y zero is 60 minus a over gcd this one over 3 is what 34 is 34 t t is integer num number uh, this is the set of our solution It is the set of our solution. So you clear about this or not? This is the algorithm clear, and this is the way to find about x zero and y zero of the equation. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, now I want you to write about this uh, example and then I will correct one more for you, number two, and then we go to the next uh, point. Okay? Teacher, but, but teacher, you take a picture and then send it over to the telegram group. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah.